Maybe they're not going my room. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Gloria Kitchen, and I would like to welcome you to the great African American read in featuring 28 of our Black authors who have written children's books for our enjoyment and delight. I'm so grateful to be here on this evening to have our amazing authors on tonight. Um, I would like to introduce Ms. Jocelyn Jones. Good evening, everybody. How y'all doing? <laughs> Also, my next fabulous host, Mr. Kyrie Denby. Hey, y'all. Child, I still got on my pajamas today. Y'all don't pick at me. Don't talk about me. When you work from home, that's what you can do. <laughs> I'm so excited to hear about this new book. Y'all, we got a, not, a lot of knowledge in the building today. Dr. Johnson and Dr. Johnson. I can't wait. Y'all, come on. Let's get ready. <laughs> right. Well, hello. How are you doing, Dr. Johnson? And Dr. Johnson, how are you doing this, this afternoon? We're fine. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we're getting ready to, we're going to start. The Zoom is all yours. Okay. And do your thing. Okay, so we're going to start. Um, our book is mainly focused on parent involvement in Black inventors. So it coincides with your spirit week on yesterday. <laughs> So Jalen Anderson is playing basketball with his friends when his mother calls him in to do his homework. Shortly after Jalen starts his homework, Mrs. Anderson can hear the sound of video games coming from his room. She knocks on his door. Ms. Anderson asks, have you finished your homework already? Yes, ma'am, he answered. What was your homework assignment? Ms. Anderson asked. My teacher, Ms. Johnson, asked us to write about a Black inventor, Jalen replied. May I see your report, Ms. Anderson asked. Jalen hands his mother his report. She looks at the report and then it shows, shows it to Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson studies the report briefly and hands it back to Jalen. 
Later that night, Mr. and Mrs. Anderson discussed Jalen's school performance. He's not a bad student, they agreed. He's getting good grades, but he can do much better if he spends more time on his work. We need a way to motivate him, Ms. Anderson said. I have an idea, Mr. Anderson said. The next night, Jalen noticed his father busy working at his desk with a computer and stacks of books. What is he working on, Jalen asked his mother. Oh, he's just doing some homework, Ms. Anderson said jokingly. The next morning, while Jalen is getting ready for school, his mother is ironing clothes. See the ironing board that your mother is using, Mr. Anderson said. The ironing board was invented by Sarah Boone, a black woman, in 1892, checking his notepad. After Ms. Anderson finished ironing his clothes, her, Jalen continues to get dressed. While Jalen was putting on his shoes, Mr. Anderson said, the process of making shoes was automatic by the invention of a black man, A.R. Cooper in 1899. Before, the, before then, shoes were made by hand and this was a very slow process. Be sure to eat your breakfast before you go, Ms. Anderson reminds Jalen. It is the most important meal of the day, they say. Jalen opens the refrigerator to get milk for, for his cereal. Mr. Anderson said, did you know John Standard, a black man received a pattern for improving the refrigerator design in 1891? Don't catch the bus from school this afternoon. I'll pick you up at 3.30 p.m., Mr. Anderson tells Jalen. That afternoon, Mr. Anderson arrived at the school to pick Jalen up. Jalen checks his watch as he gets into the car. You're right on time, Jalen says. Mr. Anderson said, did you know that the first watch was made in the United States in 1753 by Benjamin Banneker, a black man? It was a wooden pocket watch. All right. When they get home from school, the phone rings. It's Mrs. Anderson. She has to work late today. She wants us to bring her a sandwich, Mr. Anderson says. Mr. Anderson says to Jalen, the research of Dr. Shirley Ann Jackson, a black theoretical physicist, enabled people to invent the portable fax, the touch tone telephone, caller ID, and call waiting. While driving to Mrs. Anderson, they decide to pick up a sandwich. Mr. Anderson says to Jalen, Richard B. Spikes received a patent for the automatic gear shift in 1932. After they picked up the sandwich, they went to the hospital where Mrs. Anderson works as a nurse. When they reached the hospital, they had to take an elevator since Mrs. Anderson works on the third floor. As they are waiting for the elevator, Mr. Anderson checks his notepad again and tells Jalen that Alexander Miles, a black man, received a patent for the electric elevator in 1877. He points at the security camera and tells Jalen that Marie Van Britton Brown, a black woman and also a nurse, invented the home security system utilizing a television surveillance in 1969. As they are walking down the hall to meet Mrs. Anderson, Mr. Anderson tells Jalen that black men and women have made con many contributions in the field of science, glancing as notepad from time to time. The disposable needle was invented by Phil Brooks in 1974. Dr. Charles Drew worked with blood plasma, made blood transfusions possible. Thousands of lives have been saved by blood transfusions. Dr. Hale Daniel, I mean, Daniel Hale Williams was a pioneer in the open heart surgery he performed the first successful open heart surgery in the United States. Dr. Ben Carson, who was a pediatric neurosurgeon, separated the first set of twins that were conjoined at the school. Patricia Bath invented um, procedures that related to cataract surgery and included the lipospectic probe that helped with cataract surgery. Otis Boykin invented a control unit for 
facial heart stimulators. They met Mrs. Anderson and gave her her sandwich. As they were leaving the hospital, Mr. Anderson points out the fire extinguisher in the hall. Thomas Marshall received a patent for this improvement to the fire extinguisher in 1872. Mr. Anderson says, now Jalen knows why his father's carrying around his notebook everywhere, and he knows what his dad's homework was. On the way home, can we stop and get some school supplies, Jalen asks. They stop by an office supply, supply store where Jalen buys pencils, notebook paper, and a pencil sharpener. The pencil sharpener is invented by John Lee Love, a black man in 1897, Mr. Anderson says. On the way home, the home traffic was very heavy. Imagine what traffic would be like without traffic lights, Mr. Anderson asked. The traffic light was invented by black man Gary Morgan in 1923. When they get home, they decide to wait on Mrs. Anderson before they started eating dinner. Jaden rushed to his room and started working on his homework. Mrs. Anderson was surprised when she got home that she found him getting his homework done already because it was a Friday. During dinner that evening, Jaden asked his dad if he can use the lawnmower tomorrow to cut Mrs. Brown's lawn. She says she'll pay me money if that's okay with you. I can use the money to buy some new tennis shoes that I've been wanting and saving for. Mr. Anderson replied, sure you can. And did you know that the lawnmower was invented by John A. Burr, a black man in 1899? After cutting Mrs. Brown's yard, Jalen comes home tired. Is the air conditioner on, he asks, checking the thermostat and the air conditioner vents. Mr. Anderson assures Jalen that the air conditioner is running. But he also tells him that the air conditioning unit was invented by Frederick M. Jones in 1949, and the air conditioning vent that the blows the air out was invented by J.T. Darkins in 1895. Both of them were black men. That evening at dinner, Jalen tells his parents that he's been thinking about entering the science fair this year. Will y'all help me with my project? They both were answered, of course we will. Mr. and Mrs. Anderson, have been noticing that Jalen is now coming in from playing basketball without being called. And he spent a lot more time doing his homework than he did before. Mr. and Mrs. Anderson are pleased and they feel that they have achieved their goal. Thank you. So we hope you guys enjoyed our book about African-American inventors. And as you can see, there's a lot of inventions that were invented that we use every day by people that look just like us. I was just trying to order it. <laughs> I said, oh, I got to I gotta get that book. I got to get that book. I'm sitting up here shaking, trying. <laughs> uh, you you could have ordered it on our website. If we would have signed it, and you could have saved our shipping. <laughs> I, I went to the pride. Is it the, the ride of pride? Prideone.com. Pride yep, yep, yep. Okay, that's where I'm, I'm gonna go there. Then I stay there because okay. I went to the page where it says you could buy it off of Amazon, Barnes and Noble. But I, yeah. I do, I order it from that page. Then oh, yeah, I got it. And, and thank you, thank you. And I father autographed it too because he's the illustrator. My yeah. father illustrated all the oh, pictures. Oh wow! Yeah. Yes, oh, yes. That is amazing. Family. Come yeah. on, family. <laughs> we are. Is he Dr. Johnson too? No. Nah. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Like I really love that. Anytime uh, I because I just I read the I read my kids a story uh last week about black inventors. And if I I didn't even know that's what the book was about when yeah, yeah. well I, I got it next year and every year after. That's what oh, thank you. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> Go ahead, I, Gloria and Jocelyn. Ain't no Jocelyn, talk, talk, talk. Uh, I really enjoy hearing all the Black inventors, and it's just awesome that we have um, so many common uses that Black people have invented, you know, things that we don't even think about and we don't give homage to. So 
it's just really good that we have something that we can reflect back on. And mm -hmm. also, too, I think that the book would be great for, like, te as a teacher resource. Um, that is really, really awesome. So, so I, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Now, <laughs> that's what I meant, because I was on a workshop last night, and so my sister uh, developed a curriculum that will align with the book. Mm -hmm. So that's what I plan to try to market. That's that's mm -hmm. gonna be my goal for the next couple of months. Yeah, uh, to try to to do that because yeah. that was our purpose for the the book. We really want to just inform people because we didn't list all the inventions mm -hmm. in the appendix. It's a lot of more inventions that we didn't like put in story form, but we did right. want people to know yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah, like the golf tee, the spark plug. Of course, a lot of people know about the super soaker, um, the key ring, uh, the, potato the, chip. the potato chip. There's so many that we encounter every day that people, like I said, that look just like us. And we want to give students a, a sense of pride of, of like somebody like that looks like me did this. What can I do? And I hope right. we can earn some people, that's, some children, or even some adults that's reading to try to figure out a different way to make life better by inventing something or approving something that's already been created. That is so good. So good. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to um, also talk about the sense of pride that you were referring to about the book. I think that it's very important that in within our culture that we know that we can do mathematics, we can do science, we can do those those subjects in which oftentimes they deem us inadequate or not knowing or how to do. So I think that that just gives you a, a, a variety of a platform to present that to bring the self-confidence that is needed to to say yes i can do long division and yes i can do trigonometry and yes i can understand what was that quadratic equations and things yeah. of that nature. so you can understand those things you know i got a little bit you know but you know you can mix different compound elements in in sciences and the things of that nature so i think this is an outstanding resource teacher resource that definitely needs to be presented to all types. I mean, people in college, we, we go to school and, you yeah. know, do we even know all of that? You know, I think the reason why I know some of the things that I know is because my grandfather and then also my grandmother, her last name is Latimer. So we know that okay. we do have a Yes, Yeah, so that's like great, great. My uncle always tell me all the time, your great, great grandfather, so you can do, you know, yeah. so it's like a lot of, you know, so, so you have a connection there, even though it may not be a generational connection, but at the end of the day, we all are inclusive. So I think that this just presents a sense of, um, of esteem that is really highly needed. So definitely get that resource out, that teacher resource out, you know, you can even spend a you know what, what? What have we been talking about? Every look like every other day, Jocelyn. Um, the the activity book. You can do an activity book, yeah. do a puzzle, do mind mapping, all types of stuff. Oh yeah. And also, yeah. Yeah, and also ask them how do they fit in the scheme of things because everyone has their own niche of what they want to be. They want to be a scientist mm -hmm. or an astronaut or maybe they want to be a dancer. You yeah. know, so it's so many things that you can go through this. So this is like phenomenal. Yeah, it's really. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, and also, too, I wanted to add about project-based learning. This would be a great book for to implement um, project-based learning, and and you know, and and implement the STEM, you know, STEM learning in, in that. So, um, definitely for Black children, I think project-based learning, anything that's hands-on, anything learning through play, all of that, you know, really is great for um, uh, children of color. So, I think the book would be excellent in that. Yeah, thank you. And, and when you mentioned that, we actually did a workshop maybe a few years ago with some young ladies, and we asked them to, to kind of brainstorm some different inventions they wanted to do. And this like young girl, uh, lady had an awesome idea, and we told her to run with it. So we haven't been able to keep up with her, and I'll probably reach out to the lady who invited us to come speak to them to see if she's even approached Shark Tank or even approached the idea. Because when she said, I was like, oh, I would buy that, yes. <laughs> yes, do it. So you never know what you know. You think children don't have these ideas, but they're watching, they're observing, they're learning. They like to take things apart and put them back together all day. So don't you know? I encourage parents or whoever's listening, don't take away that spark. You know, you might get mad at them taking away um, 
your remote control, but they might be able to improve that later on in life. So don't discourage that at all. I gotta ask. I gotta ask. Okay. What, what is your PhD in? Curriculum and instruction. Yeah, yeah both. But yes. yes. We oh, we were no. we were hooded together. Yeah, we <laughs> right literally hooded the same time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh. but our backgrounds are I'm chemistry um an undergrad background and she's history. history. Yeah. Okay, I knew we was, we was gonna be in the. We gonna have to have y'all back on here because we, oh, <laughs> we gonna have to talk about science history. Oh yeah. Because Gloria's strong point is curriculum and instruction too. Oh, okay. These higher education curriculum and instruction. Mm -hmm. So and okay. Jocelyn is too. Jocelyn teach classes for but Jocelyn teach classes for the pre K curriculum instruction. Okay. Teach classes up there. That's all right. So yeah. we have a have a conversation about teaching. Yeah. Most definitely, most definitely. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to say something because I and I don't know, I'm just I I like to think really big, so excuse me. Um one of the things that I, I think that would be very good to implement, especially with this book, and I heard that you mentioned that there was a young black woman who had an invention. If you can create some type of um like this is me, okay? If I can go far out as that I can dream as big as that's, I can dream. That's fine. Yeah. If you want to go ahead and create some type of summer program, you can create your summer program that would implement those things that would be leveraged from the book, you know? So you were creating this summer institute that would um, embrace the characteristics of inventions for whatever that may be. Thank you. That is a very good idea. You gave me my, my, some, my Saturday activity, so thank you. <laughs> Y'all hey, better call me to partner with me. <laughs> I need to talk to y'all. Yeah. Right. Gloria, Gloria acting like me now. That's what I do. I, I come up with these good ideas and then just tell her to execute. I want to execute them. <laughs> no, I definitely will look into that. Thank yeah. you. Yes, yes. Because, because what Jocelyn was saying, and this is true, um, that, you know, because of, because I've been doing a lot, I, I do have done my research in STEM and also in STEM. So, you know, I'm a musician and I'm also, I'm a learned technologist, okay? So when you combine those two elements, you can do a lot of different things. There are uh, unlimited funding for STEM, S-T-E-M, okay? And because you have a, a strong suit in those areas, you can expand on that. And I'm pretty sure there probably, I mean, I don't think there, there probably is one, but no, I mean, you guys can do a, a phenomenal job because what the base would be would definitely be um, black inventors, right? And so then you would also, you know, your demographics of who you would reach out to would definitely be minority, students of minority descent. And then you know, y'all, you know, you know how that process go like some somewhat of like the, the, um, the dissertation in a sense. You get where I'm coming from. Yeah. And then go ahead and find your population, your demographics. Then also like, who are you going to? Who are you going to do? I think that'll be a great project. And then that will be you would definitely be leaving, leaving a legacy because not only are you allowing people to go back to their history, but then you also are having people to generate different inventions that you would yeah. probably be in amazement. You know. And then you can get scholarships. You can, I mean, yeah. it's, it can go up. Yeah, uh, thank you. <laughs> you the, see my wheels shark, turning now. So. The, the <laughs> Shark Tank Summer Program or the Shark yeah, okay. Tank yeah. Program. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You know? yeah, look at that. Yeah, okay. You can do the, the Johnson & Johnson Summer Institute, Summer Program or whatever. And then you, uh, you, uh, you know, then you have it where you bring in people to actually to do a pitch because I'm not going to go into that, but they could be able to do a pitch. They would pitch it at the end of the, what, 12 weeks of the summer program. They pitch yeah. it and they also have, um, they would be given funding. That funding will go to probably like school books or a scholarship. So you can get different mm -hmm. levels of that. And then not only just you can have it where you are now, you can expand that out to where it will go out to different across the country. Then you Go also expand that out and go, go outside in the interest of in you giving too much information. <laughs> All right. Now I we got to go steal your idea. You give it to yeah, us. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. End the live. Then let's talk about it. Because you, <laughs> you get 
Yeah. You giving all the information. Everybody out there watching, they gonna say, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna try to get it. But I mean, you know, <laughs> still they will have to flip it. But I mean, still, I mean, we got it on here. You need to talk to the Johnsons. <laughs> For the line. Thank you. Thank you so much. Like, <laughs> Let's end the live. I'm finna delete it. Dave. We can delete it. <laughs> I can delete it. It's okay. I'll don't delete it. Don't, it. don't call us, y'all. <laughs> just, just say, tell us where we can find books. <laughs> Uh, like I said, I saw you got another book, Dr. Johnson. Yes, I have uh, Manifesting Dreams. Um, Manifesting Dreams is basically a book about a family that discovers their history tracing back to 150 years. Oh, wow. And it gives a personal perspective of each character that addresses the Memphis Massacre, the Red Summer, um, the Harlem Renaissance, the uh, desegregation of Memphis City Schools, uh, the last night uh, for Dr. King, the Rodney King um, uh, incident. Um, and it ends with the inauguration of President Obama. Uh, I wish I would have waited because I could have Kamala, Kamala. Uh, <laughs> but um, what was interesting about, because I would start the book and put it down, start and put it down. So once COVID hit, I picked it back up and I started getting emotional because I said some of this stuff is re, is happening again. And I, oh, I forget, I talked about the reconstruction period. And, you know, after <laughs> slavery, there were several <laughs> things that officials that were black. Right. And then they, they took that away from us. And then you, yeah. you, you look at how they were uh, trying to um, kind of stop our vote this time by with the mailing system, not yeah. letting, you know, trying to protest against people mailing in their uh, voting, changing uh, voting locations. So it's, it's the same thing, but just a different method. Right. So, right. and then also with the George Floyd, and unknowing to me, my friend, participated in the uh, march in Atlanta and we were friends I didn't find that out until now and oh, but I did write about uh, one of the characters is similar to me because I wrote about my experience during that time yeah. so um yeah and the reason why I call it manifested dreams is because the story starts off with a slave girl and she always dreamed about what would my life be like if I was free so oddly enough, through her lineage, you know, her you know, right. her children were able to do great things. So that's why I tied it. Now. Okay. So we get we can go to that that and so both of those books are on the ride the ride of life one. Yeah, dot, ride of pride one. Ride, ride, ride of pride. pride I'm sorry. One yeah, I put it. it. I put it in the chat under there under okay. things so that everybody will be able to see it. Yes, and I saw your purchase, so thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it in the mail. We'll get in the mail to you by tomorrow and Atlanta Saturday, so you'll get yeah. it, yeah. Take your time, take your time. I just use it during, in my classroom. I use it all year long. Oh, yeah, thank it. you. Yes. Yeah. But uh, so that's, that's what I, wait, wait, make sure I ask the right questions. Okay, ride of pride one.com. And then also Amazon, Barnes and Noble, you know. Yeah. But like I said, it's, it's, it's even cheaper for the uh, the buyer to purchase it from the, uh, from, yeah. the website. Yes. Yeah, it was because Amazon had it like $17.99. <laughs> yeah. <I know. laughs> <laughs> so, all right, that's all I, I just wanted to make sure everybody knew where they could find y'all book. Yes, um, I think so that's it. Gloria, have you got anything else? I don't have nothing to say. You and tonight, fine. come on, Johnson, <laughs> tell them about the general educators tonight. You got that event going on. Go ahead, let's tell them. I do, I do. I have the video if I can share the screen so um okay. so everybody can see it. Um then I don't have to do too much talking. <laughs> so we're gonna do a lot of talking tonight, baby. A lot of talking tonight. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's about what lemon y'all so it's gonna be a lot so i'm gonna just throw the video on it i'm, just... I'm gonna just dr johnson and johnson <laughs> <laughs>
male educators, uh, 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 an event for male educate, like a panel with male educators. Uh, oh, okay. So it'll be on at 7.30. Okay. Oh. Yeah, so you, go, you can go to Kappa Learning Group um, website. Oh, not website, sorry. Facebook, Kappa, K-A-P-P-A, -P -P Learning Group. Uh -huh. And you can see the live, um, but I'm sure we're gonna show it, like show it on uh, uh, Kyrie's page and my right. personal page yes. also. So, um, okay. and Gloria's as well. So, okay. All right. So let me go and get it started. Uh, hold on. Oh, excuse me. I got it on mute. Lights on, I become a dust to get them. Then want to touch it for my banana. And if you know, get a book, you be Jankara. I beg you, so make you go sit down for one can I go to the bottom. I could need my blood, you know, I wanna see. But if I just with the totally, look at the lobby. When I reach you, pull down, then call me, you do. Same with uh, 
is Capital Learning. Yes, you can get the information from there. Um, okay. But it's a private Zoom party. So um, we have the donations are um, $15. Um, uh -huh. but then we have an early bird um, admission for $10. Okay. And so you can pay Cash App, you can pay Zelle. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> no, have a good time. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a, I'm over here replaying it on my phone. Is it not? Well, you know, every since I've been, you know, having a whole um, Le, Le More de Soir, um project, every song that I play has a meaning. So this meaning uh, for this song is by um, Burner Boy. And so it's really a song about leadership, Black men being in leadership in tribal um, positions and just Black men leading. So that's really what the song is about. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. This that thing is hot. That video yeah, is hot. Yeah, it's it's hot. Hot. <laughs> Thank you. Camera. Yes, uh, oh, hot hot camera. Com. Shout out to like... camera.com. <laughs> <laughs> Get off this line. Turn it off now, Gloria. Turn it off. <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> Tell the people. Listen, as we wind down, you know, <laughs> as, as we wind down. We're learning this. <laughs> <laughs> As we wind down, and we are on day 25 of the great African-American reading, I know this is going to be amazing. It's going to get greater and greater. Next year is going to be awesome, awesome, awesome. But as we wind down, we are on day 25 of the great African-American reading with Drs. Johnson and Dr. Johnson. Honey, they have really enlightened us on tonight to know more about, about our history, our ethnicity, of who we are, and to have esteem and be excited about where we come from. Okay, so I just want to tell everyone, thank you who all have come online to see that, who will watch the replay as well. Mr. Denby, thank you. Ms. Jocelyn, thank you. And we will see everyone okay. on tomorrow at 6 p.m. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.